Hello guys, today we're going to get back into the Call of Duty custom zombie mapping tutorial series. I've been receiving a lot of requests lately to continue the series, and uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue it. So, today we're going to get into sliding doors. Um, doors are nice to have in your map, I mean, you don't, you don't just want to have debris all around your map, it'd look kind of weird. Uh, doors are nice, and they're nice and simple to do. They only take a few KVPs and a trigger zone and a... Um, brush model so they're not too hard to make not nearly as many kvps as it took to make this beautiful debris over here so let's get into the tutorial so we're going to be making our sliding door right here you're going to need your doorway and we are going to right click on our map where we want to add it we're going to go to script brush model now this is important you must use a brush model you can't just like draw on here like we what we've done with the walls because you can add your door there and we can add our texture and they will see a door there but they won't be able to do anything. They won't be able to open the door because with a regular brush model, you cannot assign scripts to it. Um, that's what a script brush model is for, where you can assign scripts to it. So yeah, so I'm just going to resize this because when it puts the texture on, it's all messed up. So I'm just going to resize the model to make it not as weird. Uh, Uh, there we go. I believe that's right. You're you're gonna want to make your door better, like take more time into it. I'm just doing this quick for tutorial sake. Um, I mean, it's a door that'll work, but yeah, it's it's not a very beautiful door. So, anyways, we have our door there, and that is gonna be our physical door that users see. Now we're gonna right or shift click that. Sorry. You're going to press N to bring up the entity window, and we're going to enter in some KVPs. So the first KVP we're going to enter is script underscore vector 180, 0, 0. Now, if you can't tell already, these are coordinates, X, Y, and Z. So 180 will, if I'm correct, make it slide 180 units over to the right, or no, to the, to the left. And the negative 180 will slide it over to the right. I can't exactly remember. I might have gotten them switched up. It's easy to get them switched up. But I know this will make it go side to side. Uh, this is the Y value. So that should go up and down. And this will move it backwards and forwards. So I'm going to leave it at 180, 0, 0. Now you can do trial and error with this. If I go into it and it slides the wrong way or I don't like it, I can go back in here and change it. Or if I do like it, I'll leave it. So I'm going to press Enter. The next thing we're going to do is target name. And I'm going to name it My Door. You can name this anything you want, but just make sure you remember it, because we're going to need it for the trigger zone that we're going to add in a second. So we'll enter that, and we're going to put in spawn flags, one. So that is all the KVPs we're going to do for the actual door. I'm just going to, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's a lot better. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and add our trigger zone so people can buy our door. So we're going to right click, go to trigger use, and I'm going to span it across my door. Now, you don't have to span a trigger zone across your entire door. A lot of people just do this or something along those lines, but it's just habit. I just like to do it across the whole door. I don't know why. You don't have to do that, but anyways. So you're going to shift click on that and press N to bring up the entity window. And now in this, we're going to enter some more KVPs. So let's put in script underscore noteworthy. And for the value, we are going to put magic underscore door. So what that'll do is it'll sign, assign a set of scripts to that to make it a magic door, which will sort of set it apart from disagree. It'll give it a different animation. Yeah, I think it gives it the slide animation, actually. So right here, we're going to do zombie underscore cost. And this is custom. This is uh, whatever you want, where it be 250, 500, 750, 1000, 2000, or anything like that. All the preset costs you can use will be in the description below as well as KVPs. Now, later on in the tutorial series, we'll get into adding custom costs, but you need to go into the map script and add your own custom strings for that. So we're not going to get into that in this tutorial. I'm going to make my door 750. Now we're going to put target. And... This is where we're going to link it to the door, and that's why you needed to remember what you named, what you put in for target name for, for the door, and I put my door. 
and for target name we are going to do zombie underscore debris so there we go our door is done if we go ahead and compile our map we can go ahead and buy this door and it will slide and we will be able to get into the next area well obviously not mine because this isn't really in the next area but anyways so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you did please leave a like below comment any questions or comments you add on the video and subscribe in the next video i'm going to get into compiling your map now i have received a lot of messages saying that those of you who have tried to um you know test their map run it and all that kind of stuff you'll receive compile errors like missing dog.gsc or whatever or you'll spawn in spectator mode i'm going to show you guys how to fix all of that in the next video and the reason for that is why i really should have done this in part one but we set it up wrong and what we need to do is we're going to copy this map uh, that we have in this dot map file and we're going to use something called the script placer and this basically builds a map file for you with a little tutorial map they set up and all the scripts are already pre-installed in that map file so we don't need to manually add all the scripts. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy our map uh, from this and port it into another map file with all the scripts pre-compiled. And you will be able to compile it and play it. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you guys later. Peace.